Okay, so this is a follow-up from the hamstring rolling with the foam. Um, so if you have access to a squat rack with the long arms, okay, this is a more aggressive way to actually get in there and dress the hamstring. And then as a bonus, I'll throw in how to use this for the cap. So we want it high enough, somewhere close to hip height, okay, and you can experiment with that. And basically one leg goes right over the top and you're gonna start with rolling. So I'm gonna roll the full length of the hamstring. <coughs> and as I'm rolling, I'm dialing in for a trigger point. Okay, once I find one, I'm gonna tack it and I'm gonna go into some flexion and I'm gonna try to hyperextend at the top. Okay, get about three to five of those. And again, I'm rolling, find the next trigger point Tack it, flexion extension. Okay. After you finish that, I would walk around a little bit. Okay, the barbell can be aggressive. All right, so if you're ready for it, take a lap around the gym, come right back and do the other side. Uh, for the backside lower leg, you can use the arm on the side you're rolling for support. Um, I like using the knurling of the bar, so the grooved. Uh, not the smooth part, but the part that's got some dig into it. And that's used for your grip if you're holding the bar with your hands. Okay, you can change angle of your lower leg to find your trigger point. Once you find a spot, you can move the ankle joint. Okay, so that's hamstring, and then you've got that backside lower leg, calf, Achilles area using the bar. All right. We'll be right back. Hold on.